Hello, my name is Faisal Khan. It is August. Well, it's actually not August, it's September. But I was so busy in August that I had, you know, queued up my Q&A, but I will still get it out. So here's the Q&A for August. So first out, I uh, want to give a big shout out to my co-founder, Mara Westling. She had a baby boy, a very healthy mother and, you know, son are doing fine. And, you know, the boy's name is Arthur, in case you're wondering. Martha, Mara, we miss you. Come back soon. You know, take care. Love to your family. The other person I want to give a shout out is to Ellie from Carbon. Ellie was one of the few people who had watched all my videos. And I mean each and every one of them. So thank you for that. So just a quick update. I took a breather because I was putting out a video almost every single day. And work was suffering just a little bit. So I got that all sorted out got a new office moved into the new office we're still setting it up we'll give you a tour one of these days and you know it was just just a great great um, busy time in a time when people are uncertain about their jobs etc so that was the reason we took a break we are back at it again and you know we'll get to it so some of the questions that people sent me let me answer the personal ones um Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, I co-host a show with Mike Townsend called Around the Coin. It's a podcast. It's aroundthecoin.com. It's available on practically every podcasting medium out there. If you want to check it out, please do so. We have about 22,000 listeners. We've been doing it for four years, going on five. So if you want to check it out, I'd be very happy. So uh, a lot of people also ask me about the quiz, the money transfer quiz. I have 43 questions done. I'm short seven questions. I hope to finish it this week. We'll program it into the uh, quiz maker, etc. Hopefully publish it next week and by next week and hopefully so. I'm going to try to hold on to my promise over there. Um, so personal questions, you know, I've got my monitor over here. You've been absent from daily videos. Did you catch the coronavirus? No, I did not catch the coronavirus. Thank God. Uh, like I said, I've been extremely busy. Had to move offices, got a new office, moved in over here. It looks like the same one as the one upstairs. I actually live upstairs. It's the same building. I just got myself a one-bedroom flat over here and converted that into an office and a YouTube studio. Uh, but that was it. Just busy. Plain busy. Nothing more. How come your videos are so clear? Uh, because I use professional-grade equipment. Thank you very much. And, you know, more is coming. Probably we'll start recording in 4K somewhere towards the end of this year. Uh, and why do I do that? Because so that we can have, you know, uh, chances are from five years from now, everyone would have 4K. So watching a video in 4K would be normal. So this is why we want to have a 4K video a uh, couple of years from now. What does a typical day for you look like? You know, this is a, a really interesting one. A lot of people ask me, uh, you know, what, is, what does my typical day look like? I think I will do a walkthrough or a video or a vlog of that day and put it up. Maybe I'll put it up on YouTube, maybe on Instagram. In case you want to check me on Instagram, it's Faisal Khan. 999 the link is in the description below you can check me out over there i also do by the way a q a on instagram an ema every sunday what was the last book you read um it was a series of articles it's called the changing world order by ray dalio i'll include the link below it's a series of seven eight articles that he wrote on linkedin a fantastic fantastic read i cannot recommend reading that enough so that's the last um, sort of book i read otherwise the book i'm reading again is right here uh debt the five thousand years the last five thousand years the first five thousand years uh reading it again um it's a fantastic book to read so coming on to the personal or rather the professional questions now that we're done with the personal the first one is will more crypto related videos videos be coming up as you promised you know what um, I'm going to make a channel announcement and I'll do a separate one video on that. But yes, you'll see more and more crypto videos coming up in my channel. Uh, have you given a sense of direction to your channel? It has been a few months now. Are you going to explain to us what the channel will be consisting of? Absolutely. As I just said, I will be doing a channel announcement in the days to come where I'm going to set a focus now that I have 3000 plus, you know, thankful subscribers. I really want to set a direction and a focus towards the channel of what I am passionate about. And let's see how that goes. I'll make that announcement in a couple of days. Um, in the previous video, uh, you cited about life hack videos. Where are they? I cannot find them. Those life hack, those life hack videos were actually on my Facebook. I've shut down my Facebook. I don't use it anymore. I am planning to make something like, you know, akin to like the 40 rules of love, the 40 you know, rules of life, I guess. 
Uh, I'll have to make those videos. I'll put them up. I will put them up on Instagram as well as on YouTube so you can check it out. What do you think of all these DeFi tokens and trading that is happening? You know, uh, to be honest, I only follow very, very few DeFi tokens of uh, DeFi, by the way, uh, stands for decentralized finance. Uh, well, I'm following very few tokens. It's the same thing at the ICO, a lot of white papers, a lot of BS, a lot of, you know, people putting out coins and trying to raise money, etc., etc. And it's a little bit, let's say, complicated 2.0. It's also Ponzi 2.0 in many cases. So you have to be very careful, read through the papers, read through the project, understand them, see about the thing, look at their, you know, um, Crypto Casey, uh, you must follow her channel, I'll give her description below. She always says, definitely look at what they've loaded up, uh, uploaded on GitHub, etc., and how many commits they've done, etc. You know, it gives a really good understanding of the project. So uh, I do recommend that, but um, I think you have to research really well these days because the art of fooling people on the internet is now so easy. So please do your research. How is it that few people on Twitter and YouTube are able to dominate the space of crypto and know so much about it? How can I learn about the same amount of information and be as knowledgeable as they are? The truth of the matter is no one is an absolute guru when it comes to this. No one is an absolute expert. What each one is doing is when they make a video like this one and many others who have their own YouTube channels is they're doing their research, they're putting it together on a, in a script and they're giving it to you. They're condensing it for you. They are doing the, all the hard work of reading through projects and reviews and talking to people and understanding and making calls, etc. And then coming out and saying, hey, listen, by the way, this is what I think of this token. This is what I think of this payment system. This is what I think about this banking or whatever it may be. So it's all condensed knowledge. So the knowledge is out there. It's there for you to take. You have to do, do a lot of reading, but we seemingly, we seemingly look like we are experts. We are not. As a small money transfer, I have been deeply disturbed by your statement that all small MTOs, money transfer operators, will go out of business in a couple of years. As a third generation running this business, this is quite sad, but I do agree with you. What can I really do a way to find a, a way to continue forward? Uh, well, first of all, thank you for agreeing with me because a lot of people still disagree with me on this one. And I think the best thing you can do is look at what the future of money looks like. And I think you'll get some sort of a reflection in crypto when you look at the future of money. So if you are not on the crypto rails or not trying to understand it, work with it, play with it, experiment with it, then I think you're missing out. I think you have to go the crypto rails. I think you have to understand crypto. There is a video, uh, you know, I've, I've done quite a few videos explaining about this thing, but I think money transfer small operators will go out of business because when the incumbents get into the game, movement of money and movement of images is, is going to be as simple as movement of images like you do on WhatsApp. So what's in, what's in it there for you? What value add, what possible value add can you add? Nothing at that time in my opinion. So I say move to crypto, learn about crypto. Now that you have 3,000 subscribers, will you do, be doing an AMA as promised? Yes, uh, I already started. I said September onwards I will start. I'm doing an AMA, but I'm doing it on Instagram. It's just much more easier to do it over there and, you know, quickly answer over there. So every Sunday I do my AMA. My Instagram handle is in the description below. I really look forward for these three questions. Some tough questions here. The first one is, why isn't your channel growing? It, it is the same old boring content of money transfer, money transfer, money transfer. You're very correct. I'm not going to disagree with you. It's the same old concept, but I wanted to get so much of the information out. Now, whether it benefits only 50 people or 100 people, I'm totally cool with that. But the fact was, uh, the fact of the matter was that I needed to get that information out. And now that it's out, I'm relaxed. I can now concentrate on other uh, areas. I, like I said, I will be making a channel announcement in the coming days as to what my channel is going to focus on. You can look over there and perhaps you might be inspired to continue to follow or maybe regretfully you might decide to unfollow and unsubscribe but you know such is life um, the second one is a tough one if you are such a guru in cross-border payments why don't you guide the world for free rather than charging a very heavy fee for how to go about setting up a remittance service you know some teacher you are teachers don't charge their students for parting knowledge very true. I totally agree with that. But I have to make a living, right? I have to make a living and this is the living I chose. I put together, I condense all my knowledge 
into a system, into something that will save you hours and hours and hundreds and thousands of dollars in expenditure. And for that, I charge a fee, a percentage of that fee. So let's say a typical uh, project you want to do will take you six months and $100,000. Now, what would you pay if you can get it done in one month? Fair question to ask. Would you pay one sixth of that because you're saving six months? Maybe. Would you pay one tenth? Maybe. Is it one fifth? Maybe. I don't know. So that's what I charge. I charge between a fifth and a tenth of what it would save you. And that typically is my rate. And that's what you are paying for. So I save you a lot of money. I save you a lot of time. And rather than, you know, all the hurdles and all the, you know, the, the loops and, 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 the, and the difficulties that you will have to overcome, I solve them all for you so you can go live. So that's why I charge. The last one is why are you always so cynical? All your videos portray that quite a few people have commented on you being a cynic and you have never replied. You're cynical of uh, Ripple, you're cynical of Bitcoin, you're cynical of investing in crypto, you're cynical of remittances, you're cynical of everything. Are you in the business of broadcasting negativity? That's a very good question and I agree I am cynical. I'm cynical because things sometimes just don't make sense to me and that sometimes happens to me all the time. I want to know why is it that, why, why are you saying that this will be so successful? What, what, what's the use case? I'm an engineer by education, so I question a lot. You know, I, when, when, a lot, when I see a lot of fluff coming at me or a fluff coming out from here and there and people are making hoo-ha statements, I question that. And questioning also puts you in the right positioning because if you're coming to me and say, hey, I want to do this, I'm not going to say, hey, it's great, I agree, you're going to make money. I said, no, hold on, how are you going to make money? How are you going to do this? Have you ever done this before, etc. Sometimes being cynical or going to a person who's cynical actually puts you into the right frame of mind and saves you money. Um, is it something that I'm proud of? Honestly, you know, this is something that comes up and I say, hey, listen, you called me. I'd rather give you the blunt version of it. I don't want to give you all fairy tales and, you know, la la land. This is it. I, you know, answer these questions for yourselves. You might save yourself some money or, you know, you might not lose your own money, etc. So that's why I'm cynical. In my, in my, and me, when I say my, it means Faisal Khan. In my professional approach, having a cynical approach has benefited me professionally. Uh, whilst I don't like doing it all the time, but I feel it's necessary. It's necessary because I don't partake in all the uh, mad rush, you know, the, the bull runs that happen. And, and I don't agree. I say, you know, hold on, something is very, something is just not right here. So being cynical sometimes pays it. Anyways, I hope that was enjoyable for you. Like I said, I will be making a channel, a channel announcement very soon. Uh, till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.